what's up everybody thanks for checking out how to shoot live super pumped about this episode because i have got something that i have never seen before and as far as the company's advertising and as far as i can research online it's a world's first this is the black bunker bm8 it's the world's first foldable brake barrel survival air rifle this thing folds out into a pretty powerful 22 cal pellet rifle. Now, this is also available in a 17 cal. You can get it in 17 and 22 in black or in the Coyote Tan. This version is the 22 cal, of course, in the black. So let's talk about this bad boy. The Black Bunker comes in this foldable kit. The piece in the middle is actually a, uh, it's a container. You can open it up and I'll show you in a minute. You can keep some stuff in it. So this is kind of its own little survival kit. Now, it, uh, I couldn't get it to fit in my backpack, but it did attach to the straps on my backpack and I was able to put it on the outside of it and just pack it right on that. It weighs seven and a half pounds and that's even before you add anything to the inside of it. So it's definitely not a, a lightweight little flimsy thing. Um, you're putting a little bit of weight on your pack if you were to carry it with your pack, but carrying it by itself or if you're just going out on a, a day or two, a little uh, mini survival trip, a little squirrel hunt, overnight packing or something like that, then it's gonna be no problem whatsoever. But what you do is, there's a switch right here. You just flip the switch down and it unfolds itself. Now, I'm gonna set this aside. We'll talk about that in a minute. The stock folds up, clicks into place. It has a, uh, like a dust cover or a debris cover that you have to take off of the barrel that keeps it while it's folded up it keeps it from getting junk in it or while you got it thrown on your backpack and you're going through the brush it just keeps everything good and clean but this will fold down and lock in place now this is your uh, your gas ram or the ram that operates the piston system clicks down flip this and it's locked you are ready to break this thing open and put a round in it it's of course single feed and uh, and go from there but uh, and, and to take it apart it's just as simple there's a button that you push underneath this switch so the uh, you disengage it you flip the switch back to unlock see how that's I hope you can see how it's moving I'm pushing this button I flip it back to unlock the ram falls down and then uh, Folds right back, and of course, you would put your uh, your kit in the middle of it. Not hard at all. Very quick to throw together. Now, uh, as I mentioned, this is uh, it is a gas piston operated, so that's your your uh, power plant there, the ram that you're putting down and latching into place. The 22 is advertised as shooting at a thousand feet per second. 17 at 1200 but that is with alloy pellets so as with all of these advertisements for these companies that uh, that put their feet per second on there they're using super lightweight alloy now i'm going to throw this on the chronograph here in just a little bit and we'll get some some readings with this even with alloy pellets with very low pellets we'll see what it does but um, what i've seen online of other people doing i'm pretty impressed with it uh, it seems like it's uh, pretty powerful and even what shots i've taken initially it's got some thorp to it so I would imagine uh, anything, you know, inside of 20 yards with open sights is going to be uh, going to be fair game. So obviously it comes with open sights. You've got a blade front sight and you've got an adjustable rear sight here. You can adjust up and down, left, right, of course, with that. But it also comes with a pick rail on top. Now, if you're truly wanting to keep this as the survival rifle, then you're probably not going to want to mount an optic on top of it. But you certainly can mount an optic on top of it if you want to uh, extend the range of it just a little bit. It's also got these pick rails on the either side of it if you wanted to mount a light or uh, some kind of side mounted bipod or something similar your overall length is about 43 inches when it's fully put together like this as i mentioned already seven and a half pounds and black bunker is offering a one-year warranty on their rifles 
Now, they are also advertising that there at some point will be a bayonet and a survival knife that is available for this. It's not available right now that I could find online, but that's something that they've already, I'll throw a picture of it up here. That's something that they're already advertising. So apparently that's something that is gonna be available at some point. Almost forgot to show you the box. You just push this switch to, uh, or push this little clip to open it up, and then you've got a little padded box that you could put some pellets in or put you a knife in or just whatever. It's not going to hold a whole lot, but a uh, nice little secure box. So let's quit the talking. Let's uh, shoot this thing. We'll chronograph it a little bit, we'll try to get some groups, and uh, see what we think. So I'm going to slap the BM-8 on the magneto speed and see if we can't uh, chrono this. Now, I did watch some videos online of what some other people were getting. Looks like with a 14 or 15 grain pellet, you're going to come in, um, of course, and there's lots of range between 14 and 15 grains uh, as far as available sizes. These that I have are 14.3. So um, I hope to get a little closer to like 800 feet per second. I saw some other people were, uh, were ranging definitely from 700, maybe up to uh, the 800 range, give or take just a little bit. So if this thing will consistently shoot in the 750 to 800 range with this size pellet, that's actually getting it really, really close to what the Gamma Swarm Magnum uh, 22 cal is getting. You know, they advertise the speeds with PBA pellets, and I'm going to try some PBA pellets in this and see what we can get. Uh, Gamo advertises their uh, 22 cal Swarm Magnum, I think at like 1200 feet per second. The best that I could get with a 14, 15 grain pellet was in the 900 range, uh, I think maybe some down even into the 800s. So if we can get the BM-8 close to that 800 range, you're really getting close to what the Swarm Magnum is producing. And I can tell already, just in the couple shots that I've taken with this initially, this thing hits hard. This thing is launching them. I did take one shot already with these. Uh, these are the Premier Hollow Point 14.3 uh, grain pellets. I did take one shot already. We got 750 feet per second. Let's go ahead and pop another one off and see what we get. Got it loaded already. That's a 762. 744, 755, so that's an average of 752, I, I'm going to say that's really, really dang good when you compare this to some of the other Magnum rifles, uh, air rifles that are on the market. Well, let's, uh, let's go give a different pellet size a try. Let me see what else I got. Next, I'm going to go ahead and do the PBA pellets. I got some of these Gamo Raptors. Uh, they are 9 grain. So significantly lighter than the 14.2 grains I just tried a minute ago. I've already got one loaded up. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah, 944. So they're advertising uh, 1,000 feet per second with the 22. And we're, we're right there at it. Let's try another one. 956. Excellent. 957. Really good. Really good there. 944, 956, 957. So that's... Um, I mean, that's right on par with what they're advertising. Certainly, you can get some lighter PBA pellets than that, but that was a 9 grain. For now, let's move on up to a little bit heavier of a pellet. Never shot these before. Thanks again, Airgun Depot. If you guys want to find this product, you can find more information out about it there. But these are match grade uh, exact Jumbo Diablo pellets. They are 15.89 grain. So we are going to see what they will chrono. I'm going to have to assume that, of course, since our 9 grains, we're going about 950. Our 14.2 grains, we're going in the 750 range. Then uh, these are probably going to be down, you know, 675, give or take. But let's find out. Yeah, 687, so that's close to what I was thinking. 683, right on target. 683 again, really consistent. So that's super nice to know. Um, 
I'm digging this thing, man. The VM8 is pretty dang nice. So what I'm going to do next is uh, see how this thing will group specifically with those PVA pellets since we were getting close to a thousand feet per second with those. Instead of aiming center of that, let me let me take these next four shots. I'm going to aim at the bottom of that top right diamond. Let's we'll see if we can pull it down into it. Since I changed my aim point, we'll do one more to get a true five shot group. Still aiming at the bottom of that top right diamond. So here's the close-up of what just happened at 20 yards. Got the hollow points here. Nice group. About two inches max spread. Uh, four of them though here within probably about an inch and a quarter. So that's really nice. The uh, Diablos are over here. Um, I had uh, a really nice four shot group once I moved them down. So uh, they're, they're about the same, maybe an inch and a half, inch and three quarter total. Surprisingly, those PBAs had a fantastic four-shot group right here, and I'll be daggone, I think it was the last one that I, that I, we'll just say that I pulled that one. But uh, I'm actually excited to, in the next video, slap a scope on and, and fine-tune this thing a little bit more. Um, and the PBAs, maybe, maybe there's a chance with them. I can't believe, so I actually had to aim here. I had to aim right here to get the PBAs to hit there. So they had been hitting stupid crazy low, which is wild. Um, the heavier pellets are hitting higher. The lighter pellets were hitting lower. So normally it would be the other way around. Black Bunker BM-8. Fun little gun for sure. Super awesome design. I, uh, I'm sold. I like it. I like it a lot. I, I, I do not have this much fun shooting i like shooting my pcps but i don't have this much fun shooting like a gamma swarm magnum this is really fun you guys be sure to subscribe to the channel and uh turn on your notifications i'm gonna have more videos with this next one specifically is slapping the scope on it and seeing if we can fine tune this thing and uh, see what kind of groups we can get maybe we can tighten them up at 20 and then we'll stretch it out to uh, further than that as well but appreciate you guys for checking out hunt shoot live be sure to check out all of our other playlists we got hunting videos and more pellet rifle stuff and product reviews and all kinds of stuff on the channel appreciate you god bless you we'll catch you next time